Hello, I'm Scott Florence and as you can see, I'm back. Now this year I'm going to start it all off with Superposition, which was recommended for me to explain quite a while ago by N.T. Donat. But I never got around to it until now, so here we go. In summary, super is when one particle can be in more than one place at any one time. Now this was famously explained by Erwin Schrödinger in the Schrödinger's Cat Experiment. The Schrödinger's Cat Experiment is when a cat is put into a box along with some radioactive element and a poison vial. Now the poison vial is smashed when the radioactive element decays and the radioactive element has a 50-50 chance of decaying which means that the vial has a 50-50% chance of smashing so the cat could either be dead or alive depending on this 50-50% chance. Now according to superposition the cat is both alive and dead at the same time until the box is opened. Now you could be thinking that we just don't know which state it is in. Either it is alive or it is dead but it's definitely just one of those states until the box is opened. That is sadly not the case in quantum mechanics which this is all built upon. Uh, say this apple was a particle or photon, electron, anything very small like that and we have these two slits. Now in classical mechanics which we are all used to ignoring gravity when I throw this apple through these slits there are only two slits of places that they could be up on the wall. Now in quantum mechanics that is not the case. Now when electrons, photons, protons, pretty much any type of particle is sent through two slits which are appropriate sizes and distances apart then unlike with the apple there's not just two different places that they could be there are a vast number of different places because when the particle goes through the slits it doesn't just go through one or the other but it goes through both at the same time the reason we know that is when a proton electron photon is sent through appropriately sized slits. They don't just form the two slits on a surface, instead they form many lines. Now the reason for this is that the particle goes through both slits at the same time and then when it gets onto the other side it interferes with itself so it can go straight as if it went straight through the middle of it or to further to the side either way. This is quite often thought of as particles showing wave-like behaviour, but something that confuses many people is that when the particle goes through the slits unobserved, it forms the pattern um, when it interferes with itself. But, on the other hand, if it is observed, either before or after it passes through, if it is observed, then it only forms the two slits, like in classical mechanics, as if it's just completely ignoring the quantum mechanics. Now there are two major theories about why this is the case, one of which is Copenhagen's interpretation, and that is that when the particles are observed, there's a waveform collapse. Now what a wave function is, is basically the probabilities of where the particles are. Everything in the universe has a wave function. Now the wave functions are what allows these particles to act as though they are waves and interfere with themselves. And Copenhagen's interpretation suggests that there's something s special about consciousness that when we observe it any of these events that are interfering with themselves that in classical mechanics wouldn't be. Um, the wave functions collapse and we just observe the classical mechanics. The other main theory, which I must say I prefer, is the many worlds theory. Now the many worlds theory is suggesting that when we observe one of the particles that are going through the slits, 
we no longer observe these interferences because we have essentially become part of one of these probabilities. We have gone into one of these possible essential one of these possible universes that that these probabilities have made visible to us. If you have any questions, statements or suggestions, please put them in the comments down below. And I will see you next time.